Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 4th, 2020, the post-election day where we really didn't um, get some the result that I think a lot of people were hoping for. Um, no decision. Uh, and what I mean by hoping for is no decision as to who the president is at the moment. We are still locked in an ugly battle for Congress. I mean, excuse me, for the White House. And Congress remains under mixed control between the Republicans and Democrats. Pretty interesting situation um, that we are dealing with. So what does that mean for the market today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's uh, grab ourselves something to drink and let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see how that might affect the day for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a mixed bag of results. We ended up with the president's uh, presidential battle being locked in probably the closest battle I've seen in some time in the market where it may come down to, well, a court decision, according to President Trump, to uh, finally sort it out, um, which means this battle could um, endure for some time. What does that mean for the market? Well, it's unclear, but we've had a price volatility in the futures all night, and right now the bulls are trying to put on a very brave face and continue uh, the follow through to the upside that started um, this more than 1300 point move in just three days. Um, we also have the uncertainty now of when or if we will get, well, I think the if is a known, we're all, we are going to get some kind of a stimulus plan some point in the future, but that some point in the future could easily be considerably extended um, thinking about this White House battle and the mix of the two houses. So pretty interesting situation that the market's trying to grapple with. We also have a big day of earnings reports. We have an FOMC meeting coming up, and then we've got the employment situation on Friday. So enough to for the market to digest, um, to give anybody heartburn. Let's take a look here at the technicals of the chart. And as you can see here in the chart, we have rallied substantially back more than 1300 points in the Dow um, since the low on Friday um, in uh, that market. And as you can see, we're pushing back up into these price resistance levels of the chart. So let's watch that pretty carefully as we approach those price resistance levels. And then let's notice that we are also rapidly ap uh, approaching a 50 day moving average where that average is starting to roll over. So watch that closely. Um, we also want to recognize that we are still in a downtrend here in the short term on the Dow. Certainly this big strong move to the upside, we have really gone, and I'll show you in the T21 indicator, we have gone from an oversold condition down here testing that 200 and 500 day moving average to a overbought condition very, very quickly here in the market. So, um, boy, I don't know. Um, I don't know how much more we can push this through. It'll be an interesting uh, thing to watch today. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar situation, but this morning it is trying, this is, by the way, is this morning's candle. It's actually trying to break back above the 50-day moving average. Notice that that 50-day moving average remains kind of flat in here, and um, it's going to be extremely important if the SPY can hold above that 50 day. If we can prove to hold above that 50 day, we might actually break out of this downtrend in the SPY chart and turn things around. So keep a close eye on that. SPY trying to show some bullishness this morning um, in that chart. Pretty interesting uh, price action going on with futures being quite volatile in the overnight session. We could easily see considerable volatility in the price action today. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ also making an attempt to recover its 50-day moving average this morning in a defiant gap back up despite 
um, the uncertainties that are out there in the presidential election. Let's take a look. We're trying to break that downtrend here in the chart, and we're pushing right back up into some price resistance right here. Um, let's see if we can hold this level, getting back above that 50 day, if we can hang on to that and see those bulls step up here. And then IWM, IWM had a really a good day yesterday, but um, you can see this morning, uh, not following through quite as strongly as the other indexes. IWM had a good day with financials and oil sectors really starting to rally back up. But the good news is, is we're back above our 50 day moving average. And if we can hold up in here, I, I kind of suspect that if we do get a rally up out of this, that we could see IWM lead the rally uh, to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Um, interesting pattern showing up here in the market and really still uh, a lot of uncertainty out there continues. Let's take a look at our VIX. This was one thing that's really kind of perplexing. And when we think about the Dow rallying over 1300 points in just three days, you would have thought we'd have seen a lot more reduction in uh, the VIX, the fear here in the market. Let's keep an eye on this. We have pushed um, uh, uh, down but we are still holding above some price support levels in the chart. And the VIX remaining yesterday at above 35 in that VIX shows us quite elevated, which means all those options that we trade are very high priced, lots of implied volatility in those options, and some danger here of some pretty substantial news-driven whipsaws depending on um, how all of this stuff starts to work itself out. It'll be interesting to watch. But right now, um, elevated VIX, and that does remain a significant concern. And if we were to bounce off of this level, that could be a real problem for us. I suspect we could push down in this this morning on this morning gap up, but let's watch that closely. I would not be at all surprised to see a test of overnight lows in the future. Um, with um, or the futures lows with the volatility um, could be kind of choppy today as we wait for an FOMC rate decision on Thursday. Let's take a look at T2122. This one gives me probably the most concern right now. Um, T2122 has just been a very, very reliable indicator. And as you can see, we've gone from an oversold condition in a very quick fashion. We're up here in an overbought condition and trying to extend this out this morning will put us really high um, in this indicator. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we have to just automatically fall or fall hard. We could consolidate, we could rest, we could hold those 50 day moving averages and that could give us a little bit of relaxation and relief in here. But we do wanna consider just how far we have moved in such a short period of time and the possible danger of chasing into this move as we approach resistance levels in the chart. Um, that we could get that profit taking wave or that selling wave coming into the market. So watch that closely. Let's take a look. Um, I, for some reason, uh, my economic calendar, um, the uh, Cano Day calendar is not working today. So I'll just point out um, today that we do have um, several things to be paying attention to on that um, economic calendar and probably the most important is we are going to um, be getting um, an, an ADP report. We're going to be hearing um, from some ISM numbers and on the service sector we're going to um, be in the wait and see mode the beginning of the FOMC meeting with an announcement coming on Thursday. So still an awful lot for the market to digest on that economic calendar yet to come this morning. On the earnings calendar, we have just short of 90 companies reporting earnings today. And um, if you want to see the full list of notable earnings, please uh, click that link just underneath the title of this video. There's a link that'll take you right back to the morning blog. And you can take a look at that because I don't have time to cover all of the stuff that could be um, affected by earnings this morning. Let's take a look um, at just a few ALB 
AOB will be reporting today. Let's keep a close eye on that. Materials, um, chemicals have been quite strong um, in uh, the, the COVID related market, holding up very, very well. And as you can see, AOB up here testing some resistance highs um, could be very important for that earnings report. Keep an eye on that. Allstate um, is a company reporting this morning. It's trying to gap up, as you can see um, this morning, just a little tiny bit, trying to hold up, trying to break a downtrend in the chart. Let's keep a close eye on that. If it can hold some price support levels in here, maybe an opportunity coming in um, Allstate. We're gonna see companies from Fitbit, Fitbit reporting today. Keep an eye on that to uh, GDDY. GoDaddy will be reporting today. Looks like a pop and drop so far on that this morning. Gapping up and pulling back a little bit so far. Um, we're going to hear from one of the bigger techs today. Will be Qualcomm reporting um, after the bell today. Let's keep an eye on Qualcomm. It's trying to move higher this morning. Um, could be an interesting report to keep an eye on. We have MRO that will be reporting today. Some of those oil sector stocks still trying to report. They've really been suffering a lot of tough selling here, but they could start to correct themselves here off of these lows. Watch those closely. We are going to hear from MTCH that uh, Mitch has been um, pretty darn strong here lately, a beautiful upside trend, and it's trying to extend that this morning. Let's keep an eye on that chart. Um, other star stocks we're going to hear from like PSA, keep an eye on that. KGC um, is on that list, a little bit of gold. Uh, minor price action in here. So keep a close eye on these um, as we continue to roll through these earnings reports. And remember that tomorrow we have a massive earnings day with well over 300 companies reporting. Um, going to give the market an awful lot of um, awful lot of volatility to digest um, as we wait for that FOMC decision. So lots of price action um, uh, and lots of volatility uh, probably to deal with. Um, and we were kind of hoping that some of that would subside, but maybe not so much. Let's just be really, really careful here. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you have um, not seen these videos until today, this is the first time, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, um, if you find the video to have been worthy, if it helped you prepare for the day, if you could please click that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and then also feel free to share these videos with anyone um, on your social media feed to help us continue to grow the channel. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone who does do that. I gotta tell you, um, with over 15,000 subscribers, I am tremendously humbled. I never in my wildest dreams thought there would be this many people interested in this type of content. So thank you very much everyone, you're awesome. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. Now, there was some notable moves yesterday in the financials. Um, XLF, take a look at XLF. Now this, I'm gonna put my drawings on this chart and notice that we are still challenging downtrends in these charts and we're seeing that in a lot of those financials. But that was a notable improvement in those financials. If they can hold in here, maybe push through some of these downtrend levels in the chart, we may have some opportunities for some upside moves and we really need those financials to get moving here to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at um, energy, is XLE, the energy sector, really trying to perk up off of some lows here and trying to break some downtrends here in XLE. And notice that if we can push through some of these uh, little resistance levels in the chart or hold this downtrend as support, we have that opportunity that energies might be starting to come back around. Now, these obviously can be very, very affected by uh, the continuing rise of coronavirus. And I'm not, with the presidential election still up in the air, we just don't know how um, our policy makers are going to respond to this stuff as we continue to wait for that battle uh, for the White House 
to be resolved. So watch some of these closely. A lot of price action could occur on these if those COVID numbers continue to rise. Let's take a look at some retail. Now retail has been trying really, really hard in several places to look bullish. And take a look at Walmart. Walmart breaking its downtrend here. Pop and drop so far on the morning. You see we pushed up into that, into that price resistance this morning. We're trying to gap up and pull back. But if we can hold this price level in here, hold on to that downtrend, we could see um, some of those retail Retailers starting to move up just in anticipation of the holiday sales. Let's take a look at um, um, other, a few others. Take a look at Kohl's. KSS. Now this has been an interesting chart, very volatile chart overall. And as you can see, holding on to some price support here in the chart, holding on to a little bit of a downtrend support. And yesterday really tried to perk up off of there. You can see a nice um, pop yesterday. If that can hold in this area here, then we might see that opportunity for this to continue that upside trend. Keep a close eye on Kohl's. Other stocks like GPS um, retail holding up strong. Um, Crocs holding up very, very strong. Um, LB continues to potentially set up as a trade. So watch that close. Um, lots of good potential trades here. Keep an eye on FCX. FCX, I ended up selling FCX yesterday, just taking my profit on it, just because of the uncertainty of the election. And now I'll be watching for a re-entry into this trade. Beautiful, uh, beautiful chart here overall. Beautiful upside trend, uh, looking really good. And if we can hold some price support in here, maybe rest or consolidate out toward this trend, then I will be watching for, or even pull back, I'll be watching for that next potential entry into FCX. As if you remember, I believe Copper has a pretty good story ahead of it, so keep a close eye on that. Last night we had, in the election results, we had several states approving um, the use of marijuana on a recreational for a recreational purpose um, last night so we might want to keep an eye on some of these surging cannabis stocks um, cgc has been notably strong here recently pushing up and as you can see we've got a little resistance in here we're dealing with but we're holding a little upside trend and if that can hold in here and buyers perk up um, it may have an opportunity to just keep moving on up here on some of these cannabis plays. Um, Crone is another one we might want to keep an eye on. TLRY um, is one we might keep a, an eye on. And notice that we're setting up some bullish patterns here in these charts. And not only that, we are actually holding above 50-day moving averages here, which is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern where we round off these bottoms and then we start heading back up toward that 200 day moving average so watch that closely tlry um, you might also want to look if you like this sector take a look at um, mj a little bit of mary jane etf here as you can see trying to hold that 50 day trying to round off these bottoms and those cannabis plays trying to move on higher of course if biden does end up winning um, we heard that uh, biden harris plans to um, um, decriminalize um, cannabis so um, that would also add to some upside pressure if that were to continue. Let's keep um, take a close eye at some other places in the market. Um, there was news today that Nike will be laying off about 700 people, and often that tends to perk up a chart. And as you can see, Nike um, broke down through some price support, but the announcement of that layoff has that opportunity that we could recover that level. And if that were to happen and hold, we would have an upside trade. However, for those of you who might be bearish on this chart, let's take a look. If we rally right back into this resistance and then fail, there's that opportunity of a short side trade here on Nike as well. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I ended up selling just half of my position here in NIO yesterday. And check it out, NIO continuing to extend itself up. So I still have a bit of a bias on this trade, um, but watching this closely, um, loving this trade, um, just huge, huge profits for, for um, 
um, those of us in this in in the right way options uh, group we're just looking really really good on this trade so let's watch that closely as we continue to extend here in nio now i would tell you that i would not want to chase this um, we're too extended um, in this move, we want to wait for that next consolidation, next rest, next pullback that may re-engage this trend here. And then there's an opportunity for an upside move. So keep a close eye on NIO. Looking good this morning so far. Um, keep a close eye on some of these automotive stocks. Uh, General Motors holding in here quite well. You can see we've got a big price level of resistance to test. But if I were to extend this downtrend, as you can see, what we've done is broken above that downtrend and we're holding it as support in here. So GM starting to look to the upside, showing some strength. We're also seeing some um, decent price action in stocks like GE. GE that it's just been beat down, beat down, beat down um, in the market. It looks like they may be finally starting to um, re-engage um, with the bulls here and as you can see this bottoming pattern that is occurring in here where we're trying to round out this bottom uh, bulls trying to step through and step up into those charts so watch that close so there's a few uh, charts for you to pay attention to there's an, a lot of price or a lot of volatility that could ensue over the next couple of days and we should expect considerable news driven volatility as we continue to get news news about a possible states shifting um, to one candidate or another and um, the, um, uh, the presidential election drawing closer and closer and closer as we go. So watch that pretty closely. Everyone have a wonderful day. Be safe out there and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning waiting for that FOMC. Take care everyone.